Hello, I'm voice and audition coach Jessica Neighbor, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get prepared for your audition for singers. This video will go over what you need to do for your audition for a singer, and by the end of this video, you will know the basic playbook of what you need to do for an audition, because in my 20 years of coaching performers, for high stake auditions, I've learned that auditions are a game and that it's really about knowing how to play that game to succeed and increase your odds of getting in. So this is also part of a four um, video series. Um, so make sure you watch all of them all the way through A to Z. They're um, shared in the links below just so you get the full uh, you know, display of what you need to do for your audition. So let's jump into it. Um, the first thing that you want to do uh, is make a plan, right? Uh, very often people hear about auditions, including myself for many years, and I'd say, oh, I love that show, or oh, I want to try out for that vocal competition, and immediately our brains start going to, what's the coolest song I'm going to do? How am I going to rehearse it? How am I going to practice? Right? Because we are creative beings, and that's what we want to spend our energy on. But I'm going to stop you ask you to pause for a moment and go do something that isn't going to sound terribly exciting, which is actually step one, which is to make your plan. And the step one of making the plan is going over the audition guidelines. It sounds simple, but I can't tell you how often people skip over this. And I can't tell you how often casting directors and judges have come up to me and said, how do so many performers not follow the guidelines of what it is they're supposed to prepare? I want you to follow through the guidelines very carefully. They are your friend. They are going to tell you what you need to prepare. For instance, are you supposed to bring in one or two songs? What's the length of the song you're supposed to do? 16 bars, 32 bars, or a full length song? Are you supposed to do contrasting songs? And is there a specific music genre that they want you to try out? From? Or is it just implicit in the value system of this place that you're going out for that it's kind of known what you should be trying out with? All of this requires a little research, really reading through the guidelines. And if you don't understand any of these terms like, you know, 16 bars, audition cuts, then make sure you do your research to understand those so that you're coming into the audition room prepared with the appropriate material. Because think about it, from the judge's point of view, if you're coming in and you don't have the right material, you're already docked some points. They're already bummed out about you. It doesn't matter how talented you are. Um, so this is showing that you are a professional in the making, that you are taking the time, that you're respecting their process by reading over the guide. Step two is to come up with your own personal timeline for this audition. Do you have three months, three weeks, or three days for this audition to prepare? That is going to greatly, greatly influence what you choose, right? Which I know is the burning question here, and that's step three, which is choosing your songs. But remember, I don't want you to go jump into what song you're going to sing. I want you to know your guidelines first, then I want you to know your timeline, then I want us to start talking about what songs you want to sing. It's that order that's important because if you have an audition that's only, you know, a week or two weeks away, we don't want you choosing a brand new song that you have to memorize and master. That's not enough time. However, if you have a few months and you know this audition way out in advance, knock yourself out. Pick something new and cool that's going to inspire you and be really interesting to add to your song book of audition songs. We call that your song repertoire and it will become your favorite book as you continue to audition. It's in a three ring binder and you put all of your sheet music for your songs in that three ring binder and it grows and grows with each audition that you do. And each time you do an audition, your audition muscle is is going to get stronger and stronger. But for now, know your timeline so that you're realistic about what song or songs you're going to choose. Finally, step three is choosing your songs. 
In the second video of my audition video series, I'm going to go into great detail about how to choose your strongest audition song. But for right now, I want you to choose a short list of songs. That's um, three to five songs that you think are a good fit for this audition. And then in the next video, I'm going to explain my rubric about how you select the strongest of those songs. Um, you want to make sure these um, the short list of songs are, are appropriate for the production and are appropriate for you. Those are the two main things you want to think about when you're choosing your short list of songs. What is this, you know, say you're going out for a performing arts college, what are the appropriate songs that you're going to choose for them? Or if you're going out for a particular kind of musical, maybe it's the golden era um, of a Broadway show tune, then you want to choose songs from that era, right? Typically, you don't choose a song from the play itself. Um, that comes later at callbacks. And for the first call audition, you're going to choose something that's similar, but not from the show itself. Once you have selected those songs that you know are appropriate um, and that you know are a good reflection for this audition, you need to stop and think, are they good for me, right? Because that's also very important. Does this suit your vocal style? Does this suit your vocal range? We don't want to make this harder than it already is, right? Auditions already make us a little nervous. So you want to choose material that really complements you, that really plays up your strengths, and that really makes you stand out for what your particular strengths are. Um, you also, with the um, choosing of the songs, want to choose something of medium difficulty. Don't choose your hardest, hardest song that you can only sing on your best day after you've taken that steamy shower and you've warmed up for two hours. It's probably not going to be that way on your audition day. But don't sell yourself short and sing something that you also know is too easy because the judges are going to feel the same way and they're not going to know what you're fully capable of. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being your most difficult um, audition song, you want to go for something about a 7 or an 8 that gives you a little wiggle room to, uh, you know, have a little um, nerves but isn't so easy either that you're not really showing what you're capable of. Um, if you know already what um, kind of audition you're going out for, what you know the name of the show is, or if there's a college you're thinking about trying out for, or if there's an American Idol or the Voice competition, feel free to put those in the comments and I'll check it out and then we can, you know, kind of continue talking about what kind of material might be best for you. So again, just to review in this um, section, you want to get your guidelines taken care of, your audition timeline, and your short list of three to five songs. If this all is already starting to sound a little overwhelming, um, I've got you covered. I am offering you um, a free bonus training tool of my professional audition guideline checklist. I use this with all of my performers who I work with who are going out for high stake auditions and I'll put it in the links below. That way you can just make sure you've got all your bases covered. If you also want to read more in depth about this process of how to really prepare for auditions, I have a book on Amazon, I mean, a, yeah, a book on Amazon called How to Audition um, and it's just $10. And that way you can actually have it, you can get the PDF or the hard copy and it will go into really great detail on all of these things um, that we talked about today. Um, if you want to know more about auditions and about strategies for being a vocalist who's going out on auditions, um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, You're always welcome to comment below and thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to me in your busy lives. So start planning right now. Thanks guys.